let me talk to him. Let me talk to him. Let it rain. Let me talk to him. Come on. Sergio Dip, 5 Fast Facts You Need To Know After spending over 5 years in the industry, Sergio Dip finally had his time to shine on ESPN's Monday Night Football. Dip, a communications graduate and an ESPN employee since 2013, appeared on the first night of Monday Night Football of the 2017-18 season as a sideline reporter. Unfortunately for Dip, his 30-second sideline report will now forever live in internet history. Move over, boom goes the dynamite man. Here's what you need to know about Dip. Dip appeared extremely nervous on camera. The moment happened during the first quarter of the Los Angeles Chargers and Denver Broncos game September 11. Dip was given the task of hyping up Broncos coach Vance Joseph, who was also making his regular season debut. The broadcast flashed to an eager dip on the sideline, who was set to deliver a 30-second background piece on the Denver coach. What transpired, though, is something that will live in internet lore and undoubtedly be played and replayed over and over again. Unfortunately for Dip, he appeared extremely anxious, fumbling over his lines and sounding as if he was reading off of a teleprompter. Folks, it's a pleasure to be with you guys, here, on the field, from up close just watching coach Vance Joseph from here, watch him now on the screen, Dip said as ESPN's camera flashed to Joseph. His diversity and his background is helping him a lot tonight. The quarterback at Colorado. Defensive back in the NFL and here he is having the time of his life this night making his head coach in debut. Social media fell in love with Dip. Almost as soon as Dip made his debut appearance on Monday Night Football, the internet found its newest hero. Memes were crafted almost instantaneously and numerous tweets called for more dip on people's TVs and spread quickly on Twitter. The fact the internet lost its minds over dip shouldn't come as much of a surprise, though. This is the same internet that fell in love with Ken Bone, the man donning an innocent red sweater who asked a question during a 2016 presidential debate. Dip appeared to address the appearance in a tweet minutes later. A mere few minutes after he delivered his sideline report, Dip took to Twitter to address his newfound fame. And he seemed to play along with the joke and his cringe-worthy performance. First, he tweeted two emojis, a peace sign and a wink face. A short while later, he posted a screenshot showing a Google search asking how to deal with fame. Dip started working for ESPN in 2013. According to his LinkedIn account, Dip is a 29-year-old native of Mexico and started working in sports media in 2009 for the sports section of La Officina and Mialnia Television. In 2013, 
He was hired at ESPN and has since been a frequenter on international coverage of the NFL's Super Bowls and some NBA All-Star games. He was also the commentator of the Mexican men's national soccer team during the 2012 Summer Olympics in London. Last year, ESPN announced that DIP was part of a new configuration of hosts on ESPN Deports and ESPN in Mexico and Central America's Sports Center. The new daytime show, produced from ESPN Studios in Mexico, will be the first Sports Center edition of the day, introducing a dynamic format with greater emphasis on analysis and discussion, a press release said. It will showcase the top news from the previous night and preview what's coming throughout the day. Dip anchored the show alongside Christine and Alexander. In doing so, he became one of the network's youngest commentators. In addition to that role, he also contributed on the ESPN in Mexico shows Hot Soccer and Initial Touch. Dip majored in communications at a Mexican college. Social media accounts indicate that Dip attended from Tecnológico de Monterrey in Mexico and graduated with a degree in communications. In 2016, Dip was part of the Sports Center Deports team that won a Sports Emmy Award for on-air talent in Spanish. <laughs>